There is this problem that exists in this world. When you're in kindergarten, you often have mentors that will tell you this is the way that you should think about things or give you some opportunities to go through hard decisions. When you are in elementary school, you have teachers that help you decide things and walk you through things. When you're in high school, the same thing happens where somebody is giving you mentorship throughout the process. Now, once you're done high school, we are presumed that we're supposed to figure things out on our own and that the choices are very clear and we don't necessarily, we, we're supposed to know we're supposed to be adults. But I'm here to tell you that that doesn't exist. It's awkward going and talking to people and getting insight from other people. And often that is on you to figure that out. It doesn't presume that that individual is shy, is scared, or it doesn't sort of acknowledge the sort of reality of who most people are. And I was thinking about what is the role of what I am trying to do. And that is to tell you that there's a lot of moments that are really confusing and a lot of moments where there's not really a good way of doing things. But often you have to just simply decide and stick to that particular thing. And, you know, there's many moments where it is going to be challenging in your life that you're going to think, like, I don't know what to do here. But sometimes you just decide. Sometimes you just jump into it. Sometimes you just follow what you're trying to do. And the best that you can possibly do is to get information. And there's lots of information. I provide all sorts of information. There's lots of people that provide all sorts of information. But ultimately, that's where you just have to decide that you're gonna do this and you're gonna jump into it. And when you jump into it, it's not gonna be easy. There's never going to be a moment where things are going to feel like it's all coming together. Every moment, it's gonna feel like things are falling apart. And I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna tell you that you're doing okay. And that it just takes you to keep going, to keep trying, to get up, do another day, to think that you got this despite all of the things that are going on. And I'm gonna tell you that there are going to be every day, you're gonna run into challenges that you're like, I just don't know what I'm doing. And you're gonna feel alone and you're gonna feel like an outsider. You're gonna feel all of those things that I talk about a lot. But I'm gonna tell you, you're normal. I'm gonna tell you, you just get back up and you do it again. You keep trying and there's gonna be four or five days of, of the week, you're gonna feel like you're gonna wanna cry, curl up and cry and disappear. But what I'm gonna tell you is that that feeling is normal. That's the feeling of what it means to be human. And I'm gonna tell you, just get back up and do it again. I'm gonna tell you that just keep trying, keep smiling, keep trying to enjoy the life that's around you and then reset and do it again every single day keep trying, keep taking one more step. And it's gonna feel, every day you do this, it's gonna feel like, oh, do I have to do this? Yes, you actually have to do this. This is an important thing that you need to do to encourage, to get yourself to get up and to feel like you can tackle the world. And now, if you do this, so if you do this one day, nothing's gonna happen. If you do this a month, yeah, a little bit's gonna happen, but really nothing. If you do this a year, there might be some small change that happens in your life. If you do this a decade, something remarkable is gonna happen that you will never assume is possible in your life. Or other people will look at you and they'll say, what the heck happened there? How is that possible? Now, if you do that for 30 years, it is an, it an extraordinary thing that nobody else does. And I encourage you to think about that. How do you get from one moment where you feel like you don't wanna get up to the next moment where all of a sudden you've done something extraordinary? And that is you get up, you keep trying, you do one little moment every single day, despite the fact that you don't feel like doing it, despite the fact you feel that the world is against you, which it is, but you get up and you do it again and you do it again until things start happening in your life, until you actually make this big difference in your life, until something remarkable happens. 
I don't know what that is. You don't know what that is either. The world doesn't know what it is. But these remarkable things happen all the time. And the only way that you can get to that thing that is remarkable and that is a big change is by you getting up and you pursuing that challenge that you're facing every day. Despite the fact that you want to curl up and go cry, you just get up you do it and you take one more step every day despite the fact of how it feels and everything else and you smile you smile through it and you try to enjoy it and then you do that every day for a month you do that every day for a year you do that every day for 10 years something cool is going to happen to you i can almost guarantee it all right take care have a wonderful day Bye.